Hi everyone, my name is Alex. As some of you may know, June is Acne Awareness Month, and so I wanted to share some of my current favorite product recommendations that have personally helped my acne. I have done a video of this previously, but this list is ever-changing. New products are released all of the time, and also I change my skincare routine based on the weather, and right now it is summer. So I wanted to do a summer 2024 edition of my current favorite products that have personally worked amazing for my acne. A couple of disclaimers going into this video. First of all, with acne, no one product is going to correct it. There are so many factors that go into causing acne. I wanted to do this video in honor of Acne Awareness Month, and also I just love sharing my current favorite products with you all, but these products are specifically designed for people with acne-prone skin, and I had that in mind when I was picking each of these products. I have a few oddballs in here. Some alternatives to very viral products that could be a little bit more acne prone friendly and also a few products to help if you are on an acne medication such as Accutane. I'm not personally on that medicine but I've had friends and also seen people talking about the medicine and so I wanted to provide a product that would also help with a common side effect that I see with Accutane which I just am trying to make this the most well-rounded video for Acne Awareness Month. You'll notice some of my product recommendations from the previous this video will overlap. That's because they are universal, but I have a lot of new products to talk about. Starting off with a cleanser, I've noticed that there are more gentle ways to go for treating acne when it comes to a cleanser. You can go the route of incorporating actives such as salicylic acid in your routine, which I don't personally prefer, at least at the moment. It is summer right now, and since I am spending more time in the sun, I don't want to over exfoliate my skin, so I usually go for a gentle yet effective cleanser, which at the moment is the Road Pineapple Cleanser. This has a gentle enzyme in it, and it does also have polyglutamic acid in it. I've seen people saying this is a little bit more of a stripping cleanser. I found it to be perfectly balanced, and if you do find it to be too stripping, you could use it once a night. This is, in my opinion, my favorite cleanser, and it has worked wonders for my skin. If you are wanting to take the active approach to a cleanser, my favorite active base cleanser is the Jumiso Salicylic Acid Cleanser. Cleanser. I like it because it has other added ingredients in it to help treat acne and also you're not getting a full 2% concentration of salicylic acid in it. It's a very nice cleanser. It does the job and it is a beautiful texture. Kind of in the same realm of cleansing, I did also want to talk about how a hypochlorous acid mist has really helped out my skincare routine. Specifically in the summer when I am sweating a lot, I like to go in with hypochlorous acid multiple times a day. I do it anytime my skin needs a refresher. I saw a comparison to hypochlorous acid saying it was like a hand sanitizer for your face and that's how I view it personally. This is a beautiful way to refresh your skin and it does help redness and also has shown to significantly reduce the amount of acne I get on my skin. My personal favorite is the prequel just because of the affordability and it has amazing ingredients in it along with hypochlorous acid and I love the mister on it but honestly any hypochlorous acid will do. They have really affordable options on Amazon and there is also the Tower 28 spray but that is just a little bit expensive compared to the prequel. If I had to pick an all-around well-rounded serum for acne my current favorite one is the Remedy for Pore Size. Sometimes in the summer I like to take a break on actives and use as little actives as possible and I find that when I am doing that the Remedy for Pore Size is an amazing product to be an effective acne treatment that is one product and combines a lot of amazing ingredients in it. If I am going easier on actives, I'll use this product two to three times a week. I can use it daily, but sometimes since I am getting more sun exposure, I like to back off on the actives a little bit and I have some alternatives to actives that I do like that I will mention later in this video. The Remedy for Pore Size has green tea, salicylic acid, retinol, and other amazing ingredients in it to help control oil and also help unclog my pores. Anytime I've tried a product and it doesn't work out for me, I sometimes get acne acne and this product has unclogged my pores really well. This is a newer addition to my routine because I just tried it but honestly is a dream for acne prone skin if you are able to tolerate the ingredients. If you are newer to using active start out using it once a week and build up from there. I personally found I could use it every night if I did prefer that but it's all depending on how my skin feels and when it comes to toners I really enjoy the road glazing milk. That is just a go-to product but since it is the summer sometimes I like to go for a little 
little bit of a lighter weight toner. The Road is a little bit more milky. A great gentle toner that I have seen be amazing for acne and also redness is the Isntree Green Tea Toner. This is just a beautiful product. I don't have a dedicated review to it because I just tried it on my own, but it is a really beautiful formula. It has a lightweight texture to it, and whenever my skin was really going through it, I turned back to this product. I'm going to be getting it again soon because I rediscovered it, and it is just a beautiful formula. Now, I've talked a little bit about Actives, and I am going to personally recommend a 2% BHA product that I have currently been using, but if you don't want a 2% concentration of BHA, Isntree also has a 0.9% that I would personally recommend. The 2% option that I would recommend is the Anua BHA toner. That is just a go-to for me. I don't personally use it every day, and they actually don't recommend that. They recommend going in two to three times a week, which I found to be perfect. This is a beautiful toner that has nice ceramides and moisturizing ingredients, along with tea tree in it as well to provide a great benefit to the skin when it comes to acne. I have a couple of options for acne serums. One that I recently rediscovered when I was in Target was the Bioma Acne Serum. It has a beautiful ingredient list that I feel like I didn't appreciate as much when I first tried it. It definitely worked well for me. The Clarifying Serum has amazing ingredients not only to gently exfoliate the skin, but it also has ingredients that at least personally helped out some of my post-acne hyperpigmentation as well. If you do want more of a soul salicylic acid approach with a little bit of a more watery consistency than a trium acne serum is another product that I recently rediscovered and turned to when it is summer because it is a very gentle acne treatment even though it does have 2% salicylic acid. It has a wonderful feel to it and it is the most lightweight acne serum that I can personally think of at the moment that has this affordable price point. It's just a beautiful formula and I would recommend both of these products. They are both amazing and I can't really compare them because it just depends what you're looking for in an acne treatment. This is where the oddball kind of comes in, but I did want to bring this up because I've seen snail mucin talked about so much on my feed and some people are able to use it. I'm personally in that group. I love snail mucin. I don't personally find it to clog my pores or cause acne, but that is something I've seen most common with snail mucin. It's either people love it and they're really able to use it, or it's just a product that doesn't work and clogs people's pores. If you are wanting an alternative, and I also want to harp on the fact it is important to hide hydrate and nourish your skin even though you are acne prone, that is the best thing that I have found to really help my acne. Finding the balance between exfoliating and also hydrating and nourishing my skin barrier. So with that being said, snail mucin is a great way to hydrate the skin and if you are not able to use it but you're wanting a snail mucin like consistency, the Experiment Beauty Super Saturated Serum is the way to go in my opinion. In terms of a great hydrated feel to the skin, this is definitely the way to go if you are not able to use snail mucin. And as someone who is an avid user of snail mucin, I found that I was able to replace it with the super saturated serum. And it was very similar in my opinion. So I feel like this would be a great alternative to snail mucin if you are more acne prone. While we're on the oddball category, I do just want to throw in my favorite really nourishing lip balm because I've seen some people who are currently on the acne medication Accutane struggle with with really dry lips. It's something I've heard, it's something I've witnessed with my friends. And so I wanted to recommend my go-to lip balm, which is the Topical Slick Solve Lip Balm. I wanted to go for this because it is one of the most nourishing and best values I have seen in a lip balm. It has amazing hydrators in it that really work well for the skin on my lips because it does use ingredients that also works great for the skin on my face. This is a beautiful option for a gentle hydrating lip balm and I really love it. While we're in the treatment phase, I also want to bring out the Skin1004 Centella Ampule and practically all of the Centella products that I have tried so far. This is a very simple ampule that is pretty straight to the point. Centella is the main ingredient in it and it feels like a facial oil going on the skin. You could mix this product in with a moisturizer, could use it solely. But this product has helped not only my redness, but also reduce the amount of acne that I get up on my skin. This is just a really beautiful option in my opinion to be a very simple acne treatment. The Crave Beauty Oil La La is also something that I am continuing to use because it has such a lightweight texture along with ingredients rich in linoleic acid to help reduce the amount of acne that I get on my skin. I've talked about it before but I tried to get off this product and my skin kind of went through it and so I vowed to never stop using this product because it really has worked for me. If you are
are looking for an active free approach to treating acne, I feel like this is the way to go because it is a very nourishing barrier serum as well. I also just want to touch on a collection that I personally love if you are more oily this summer. It was perfectly balanced for me, but if you are more dry, you may not want to go for it. Peach Slices Oil Control Collection has amazing ingredients not only to reduce the amount of oil that you produce, but also has ingredients to fight acne as well. This is just a beautiful treatment line. I would recommend all products from it, and it is one of my go-to simple routines this summer. When it comes to moisturizers, I am going to recommend one for more really oily skin types and one for drier to combination skin types. The really oily recommendation is the iUnique Gel Cream. This is a beautiful product. I also don't think I have a review to this product either, but I tried it on my own. It is one of the most lightweight gel creams I have tried. I personally love using it as a gentle treatment, and if you are more dry, you could go in with it as that, but if you are oily, this would be the perfect moisturizer for you. I also wanted to touch on the Dew Air Angel because this is a moisturizer that was actually put through acnegenic testing. It is a little bit more of a luxury price point, but in my opinion, it is really worth it for any skin type. It was the perfectly balanced moisturizer and I really enjoyed it. I also have a review to a gel cream coming out within the next week that I really love. And I will be doing just a general summer skincare recommendation and I have talked about that gel cream in that video as well. So make sure you are subscribed to me because I will be talking about more gel creams this summer that I feel like are really great nourishing products and also have worked wonders for my acne. Finally, in the sun protection category, obviously the Round Lab is my go-to, but I did want to bring up another option that is actually my favorite sunscreen this summer. And then another one that I have tried recently that worked great for my acne prone skin. The new one is the Isentree Onion Fresh Fluid Sun Cream. This is an SPF 50 sun protection with new age Korean chemical filters. I really enjoyed this product because it has amazing acne fighting ingredients in it and the Isentree Onion line has worked wonderful for my skin. Another option is the Anua Heart Leaf Sunscreen. This is very lightweight so more suitable for the summertime in my opinion but it has amazing ingredients in it to help fight acne. I personally noticed it to work great for my acne prone skin. I tried to pick a wide range of products in this but obviously everyone's acne is different. Just because something works for me doesn't mean it will work for you but I did want to share what has personally worked for me to possibly give you a blueprint into where to go when looking for products to help acne this summer. Let me know what products you are currently loving to treat your acne. Thank you all so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it and you want to see more like this make sure you subscribe because I post new videos every week and I will see you all in the next review.